in our table, we see five-day historical data for Microsoft shares from 13th of January 2020 to 17th of January 2020. Let's look at the first parameter. So let's type equal sparkline open parenthesis. Our first parameter in the sparkline function is the range of cells or array which contains the data we want to plot. So we choose the range B3 to F3. Notice that our second parameter is in square brackets, which means this parameter is optional. So let's leave it out and see what we get. Notice we get a line graph that is black in color. From this, we can see that a line graph is the default chart type. Let's drag this down and apply it to the rest of the rows. The trends are different for each row. What if we wanted to change the color from black to green? Well, we can do this by using the second parameter, which is the options for the attributes for the chart. Attributes include chart type and color, etc. The syntax when using the second parameter is, when defining the attribute, we need to have the attribute name and the value for the attribute in a pair separated by a comma. Multiple attributes are separated by semicolons. So in cell G3, let's type equal sparkline. We choose our data, which is B3 to F3. Our second parameter is options. We type open curly bracket, open quotation mark, chart type, close quotation, comma. Since we want a line graph, we type line, close quotation. We separate our attributes with a semicolon and we want to have the color. So the attribute name is color. So we type color, close quotation, comma, and we want green. So we type open quotation, green, and close quotation. Then we close the curly bracket and we close the parenthesis. Notice we got a green line graph. But since we know that the line graph is the default chart type, we can omit this attribute when we want a line graph. So let's remove it from here and see what we get. We continue to get the line graph. And hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.